Hi, I'm John Spencer Ellis. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of dreaming. Here are some important popular scientific theories on dreaming. Number one, to restore our body and mind. Number two, to help with learning and memory. Number three, to keep the brain at the right level of awareness and rest during sleep. Number four, to allow the mind to handle disturbances in the night without waking up. Number five, to keep our sense of self and wholeness through sleep. Number six, to resolve conflicts that occur during the day. And number seven, to contextualize emotions from waking. Research has shown that people who are deprived from entering the dream phase of sleep, that's the REM stage, exhibit symptoms of irritability and even anxiety. Dreaming can be defined in various ways. For one, it's having thoughts, visions, and other sensations that occupy the mind in sleep. Dreams occur during the part of sleep which there is rapid eye movement, REM. We have about three to five periods of REM sleep per night. They usually come in intervals of one to two hours and are quite variable in length. An episode of REM sleep may be brief, about five minutes, or it may be much longer and go for over an hour. About 20% of sleep is REM sleep. If you sleep seven to eight hours a night, perhaps an hour and a half of that time, about 90 minutes is REM sleep. REM sleep is characterized by a number of other features besides rapid eye movement, including rapid low voltage brain waves on the electroencephalograph, that's an EEG. Daydreaming occurs when you are semi-awake, and it is the spontaneous imagining or recalling of various images or experiences in the past or future. The content in our daydreams are helpful in the understanding of your true feelings and it helps you fulfill your goals. When you daydream, you are accessing your right brain. The right brain is the creative and more feminine side of your personality. Daydreams are often viewed as lighthearted in nature and are no more than silly fantasies or wishful thinking. Actually, the worrying of things can be classified in a form of daydreaming. When you worry, you are visualizing an unwanted or negative outcome to a situation. By repeating these negative images in your mind, you are more likely to actually make them happen. Next time you start worrying, think of a positive outcome instead, instantly. Just as your worrisome daydreams can come true because of repetition in your mind, you can use this as a tool to your advantage and make positive events happen. You can utilize daydreams as a technique to visualize what you truly desire to happen. It is said that many athletes, musicians, and business leaders utilize daydreams to envision success. You too can utilize daydreams for something as simple as acing the next test or landing the perfect job. Positive daydreaming is healthy. It serves as a temporary escape from the demands of reality. It is also a good way to release pent up frustrations without physically acting them out. All too often you worry about your job, your family, finances, or a relationship. It is a way to leave the world behind and ponder about what could have been, or should have been, or could be. It relieves stress, improves attitude, fosters creativity, and refreshes the mind, body, and spirit. Please don't deny yourself the importance of quality dreaming. It improves your health, improves your quality of life, and allows you to visualize the ideal life you want and deserve. Be sure to watch my other videos on how you can improve your quality of sleep to enhance all aspects of your life. Please visit me at johnspencerellis.com. Thank you very much. Be well.